I listen, I've got something terrible to say. I'm pregnant. Yeah. And, and don't, don't ask me who the father is, because I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I'll give you a clue. Uh, no, I'll give you a clue. Um, right, his jackets are designed by Jean-Michel Jarre, and uh, his shirts, they're by Fettuccini. And uh, he wears Kevin Klein's underpants. Can you tell? It's Jonathan Ross, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's lovely Jonathan. He's got class, like me. Uh, class is like the clap. You've either got it or you haven't. <laughs> I've got it and so has Jonathan. <laughs> hey, but listen, lads. If you're trying to seduce a woman, right, just a couple of tips, right? If you take them back to your place, you know, be sophisticated, right, you know. Sort of like, you know, put a bit of light music on. You know. Carpenters, something like that. Right? <laughs> Lower the lights, you know. Take your socks off, you know, little things like that makes all the difference. You know. If you nip into the toilet, you know, while you're in there, rinse your knob out in the sink. You know. you know, a clean penis might just tip the balance, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, oh, God. Hey, do you know what I, I think it's absolutely gorgeous? No, I think he's fucking gorgeous. Right. Patrick Swayze. Um, I, I've seen Dirty Dancing 25 times. Oh, it's fantastic. The bloke round our way is just like Patrick Swayze, yeah. Where's an orthopaedic shoe where it's in John Menzies? <laughs> oh, honest to God, he's lovely. It's really nice. He's that imaginative lover, you know. It's really nice. He'll, he'll give me a choice, you know. He'll say, you know, Pauline, or do you want to make love to you? you know, or do you just want to suck us off? Do you know what I mean? It's variety. That's nice. Uh, do you know I can't fucking stand? Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> Honestly, she's right miserable cow, isn't she? Uh, I reckon she'd get her on Generation Game, you know. And uh, then they'd have to say, hey, come on, come on, Sinead, give us a twirl. She'd go, no, I don't want to. <laughs> uh, Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you. Kojak does, don't he? <laughs> uh, uh, I've had him. I was on top. I said, hey, look, I'm on telly. <laughs> oh, not that I can't that magenta divine. Honest to God, she must have... Why aren't you wearing fucking sunglasses all the time? Doesn't Roy Orbison? <laughs> and the one that really takes the fucking biscuit for me is Carol Vorderman. <laughs> Honest to God, if she'd have been in my class at school, I would have fucking smacked her one. <laughs> I said, hey, sir, done some sums out of clever. Say it on Countdown with Richard Whiteley. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I said, come here, Richard, and show us a bit of your... <laughs> he wasn't talking about vowels and consonants in Hatfield Travelodge, I tell you that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> anyway, listen. I've, well, I've been trying to sort of branch out a bit, right? And I've written this book. I'm trying to write a novel, like, for Mills and Boone, right? And I've written this novel. This is the first draft. I've got to send it off tomorrow. Right? So, 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 see what you reckon about it, right? It's called Stallion Heart by Paulette Vash. That's my pen name, see? So. Vash, that's, that's French for cow, right? I don't know what, don't know what calf is. Probably Petty Vash, something like that. Anyway. Her name was Polly Lamb. She was small and petite, a size eight but with a full bosom where weary travellers would oft rest their weary heads. <laughs> she was the barmaid at the old traveller's lodge up near Hatfield. One day, a tall, dark stranger rode into the courtyard and alighted from a black stallion. He seemed to dance across the cobbles. It was a daring dance, a delicious dance, a dirty dance. <laughs> she took his coat and looked inside at the label. It said, Lord Patrick of Sways. <laughs> It was made of real cashmere and from next for men. <laughs> Without further ado, she took him to her bedchamber, reached inside his roughshod breeches, and there discovered his stallion-like manhood. Within 40 minutes and five, he had shot his load thrice-fold. <laughs> At last, thought Pauline, I've met a man who is dead sophisticated. I will endeavour to get to know him. Anyway, thanks, you've been a fantastic audience. That's all for me. I've got to go now. All right, ta-ta. <laughs>